Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a familiar job here, but this one's a little different because the casting's a little different. Uh, must have been a pattern change at some point in time. Maybe somebody decided that other version was too hard to hold, so they fixed it. Anyway, I've got this one set up here using the stop blocks because I've actually got a register I can push against. It appears to be fairly square. This thing looks close. I'll have to indicate it and check it, but y'all don't need to see me do that. If you're watching this channel, more than likely, uh, you don't need to see that done. You've done it yourself. So just indicate it for straight and square to the column and mill this all flat. That's all I'm looking to do here. Uh, so everything else is pretty much irrelevant. Just need to get these faces lined up with that cutter. So, so what I'm gonna do this time. I'm using uh, wedges underneath of these flanges here. I can tap the wedges to make this tip one way or another. Wedges are great for irregular surfaces, such as these raw castings, because uh, you can easily make up the height. You just tappy tap and get it where you want it to be, and then lock it down. So. That's the method I'm using this time. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it's a bit a little faster setup than it was before with all the stacks and the multiple clamps and arms and jacks and all that I had set up on that other one. So, going by the uh, face mill there, I can tell this is slightly out of square still, so I'm gonna have to loosen these clamps, tap these jacks and get it squared up and lock it back down and then it'll indicate these faces and see if it's parallel to the table, if the stop blocks are doing their job, or if I need to turn one of these screws in to get this thing straight. And then it'll be time to make a cut. So, I'm going to get to it. Alright, it should be lined up, so I guess let's do this.
All right, so got them all machined up. Looking good. Just barely one little spot there that didn't clean out, but other than that, it's got a nice surface finish on it, and it's flat. So, took about 35 thousandths to get this one flat. These ends really seem to bow out on, for whatever reason. Next step, I got two broke off bolts to get out. So, I get this thing off over to the welder and try and weld some nuts on them, see if I can get them turned back out. It's usually pretty successful for me. Of course, if I was Adam, I could just look at these bolts funny with a left hand drill bit and they'd just back right out. But it's been my experience, that's not how this typically goes. Uh, this is usually a multiple uh, cuss event to get these bolts out of here. They get in there super tight, they're stainless, and they want to gall up to the cast iron and they don't want to come back out. So I'm going to weld nuts on them. But before I do that, I'm going to give a little bit of preheat to it. So I, that way when I hit it with the welder, hopefully I'll get good penetration into the bolt right off the bat. And I'm going to smear a little grease around the outside of the hole uh, before I start welding it on. So there's less likelihood of me getting weld to attach to the manifold. It's cast iron, so it's not as likely as it would be if I was welding on steel, but it's still quite possible to weld these two together. The rods that I used in that video doing that gearbox actually are for welding steel and cast iron together, so it can be done. Be falling down on me now, sucker. <laughs> yep. Failed attempt one.
That wasn't good. Well, partial success. We got one out, so one to go. I'm having a hard time getting that one to start, but just keep at it. And success, finally getting somewhere. Can't do this. One handed though. Sucker was in there. But I got them all out and didn't destroy the threads, so. Well, there it is. All fixed up like new. Got the four bolts out of the flange. Run a tap through there, cleaned them all out. Still hot. The inspector's already gone to bed, so 
I'll be able to slip this job out without him even knowing about it. Of course, he did see me start it, so he may still know. He'll probably want dog treats. But, you know, maybe he'll let me keep something. Thanks for watching. Thanks for driving. I'll catch you later.